I've been doing a lot with Mickey, our athletic trainer. I've been getting needled and massages. Okay. And I'm just sitting in there. Oh, that's Mickey. I've been getting, um, you know, a lot of work done with Mickey, extra work, cold tubs, hot tubs, normal takes, um, anything that you can think of just to get my legs back up under me. All right, so you guys got any word on uh, Brock Spencer's injury? That was so tough. Um, it was tough. Um, she was coming into her own. Um, but, you know, I don't think that's my place to speak on what, you know, had happened with her. So, whenever it's, it's released, it's, it's when you guys will know. Okay. Um, so, as I know, you guys have been more involved mm -hmm. with the scouts. So, mm -hmm. what do you guys do differently with the team that you guys have already played and one that you guys have already beat? Um, you know, you go back and watch the game that you play against them, and you see the areas that you were good in and the areas that you were weak in. Um, but you also watch the games that they played after, you know, to see where they grew and where they got better and the areas where they're struggling. You know, it's kind of like you got to dig in a little bit deeper. You know, even though you played against a team already, you still don't know everything about them because it's later on in the SEC. So you add in different type of plays or your go-to player might be totally different than the one that you played the first time. So um, you try to go in and just figure out and focus on the things that they changed um, and the things that they struggle in just so you can pinpoint those areas when you play. All right, so you guys, you guys have a you guys won two games in a row. The last game you got a really big win. Mm -hmm. um, so, but then you got about a week off, so does that slow down the momentum a little bit? No, you know, if anything, I feel like um, you'll be more fresh, more rejuvenated. Um, my legs feel amazing, you know, um, and I think, you know, the team just needed that time mentally um, to lock back in to, you know, the game plans and, and the job that we have to do. Um, but it gives you that time to really just not really take a step from basketball, but, you know, be a student sometimes. Um, I've caught up on a lot of work, um, doing community service at Gardier Community Christian School. So it gives you that time to be like normal, almost. Um, but sometimes you need to take a little break. And so when you come back, it's like, okay, now I'm ready, you know, to, to play how, how I'm supposed to play. What kind of community service were you doing? So, I've been doing community service at Gardier Community Christian School with like little kids, like pre-K three and pre-K four. I sometimes work with like first grade or third grade, um, but I used to just go there and I sometimes read to them or I'll go play basketball with them at recess or help them like with their project. They just had this Habitat project and it was amazing or it was like kind of like a museum or whatever, but you know, I just go and spend time with the kids. I love it. Um, they talk to me about my hair a lot, you know, because I've changed it a couple times since they saw me. Um, but, you know, I just go out there and spend time with them. Um, and it's definitely great. So you said you play basketball with them. You run into any possible future lady tigers? You know, I might have. I, I might have. I'm not going to say any names, but... It's a couple of people out there that I can go, okay, if I see you up here, I won't be shy.